Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Empyreon and today as you may be seeing already we not only have moved but we also have a massive um, beginning of a base and essentially what I did here is well I moved to um, a much further place because I don't exactly know why I did that I just wanted to be somewhere nice and the forest and all it's great but if we want to rely on solar power and we have like tall trees all over the place and not that's not great not great so yeah I've got like I don't know I think it's 13 solar panels here and we got some here uh, we got those here because I kind of like didn't want to build more um, support here because I want to have them like up high so they're not always in the way and also because um, all right, all right. Because from down here, we can actually see without having to go up the the lights here, which tell us... I never remember. I think the green ones here tell us, like, if the orientation is fine, like, regarding to the, the sun and all. And then the, the yellow ones tell us uh, how much power it's generating right now. Well, whatever it's telling us, yeah, it's, it's better here than in the forest. Yeah? <laughs> all right. So we got, like, four... Um, capacitors here we have a cloning chamber so that if I die I don't like respawn wherever you know or I'm stuck in the loop or like dying all over the place this is our storage container where I'm where I made tons of seeds for from stuff that I found in the wild this is the basics because I was worried that during my uh, grinding the base while well, the base wh whatever we have would be attacked by drones so we have a single sentry gun here they're not very powerful but at least you know they buy us a little bit of time if uh, uh, drones were deciding to attack the base but yeah they haven't in time I've, I've, I've been here and I've been grinding for for resources so that I, you know we could get building so I oh I found some Prometheum by the way uh, here but that's the only one though that I found and I've been exploring like like crazy out in the wild and so there's the abandoned factory which I believe was on uh, used to be on Omicron I'm, I'm kind of lost because I mean these here where I've set up here kind of feels like Omicron but some parts of the planet feel more like um, Akua so I'm not exactly sure what the archetype of this planet is it says temperate but yeah i don't i don't know i, I don't know so anyways we got some water so we're going to be able to cook more various stuff we have a, fa a full size fabricator but eventually everything will be uh moved into the base and yeah i kind of re rethought the idea of uh not having a base because i mean there's just too much we need uh, that for so yeah that's gonna be like the base is gonna be here so that's all the resources we have I made like tons of uh, nitrocellulose um, we can build stuff already I've made everything before I started recording so yeah I, I want to build the base so essentially what I want this base to be is like yeah, you know like I, I usually do like uh, I don't need that actually I was just just uh, not that either I was just trying to like you know get a sense of what we could build anyways so yeah, what I want is, we're gonna have the storage in here, uh, I'll probably put them in the floor, so it's not like, you know, like, taking a lot of place and make, being, like, all ugly and all. Um, and I want that to be, like, a nice little uh, beach compound. Uh, doo -doo -doo, probably up to here. Yeah, that's big enough. So I want to have, like, a little uh, terrace. And is that... Oh, we're not connecting. What? All right, connect. Get out. Uh, do, 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 do. And this is gonna be our wall. Oh wait, actually, I need to. I keep, I keep forgetting. All right, there and then. Here is it gonna be? No, okay, it's already touching the ground. Because uh, you need to be like building from the ground, otherwise, yeah, you know, it's gonna like all fall apart, and that they're not gonna be happy about that. And we get experience for that? Oh, so build. <laughs> You're gonna get experience from build. That's got actually, it's not completely stupid. I was a little too quick to judge here. 
Okay, so then we're gonna have a beautiful entrance. I made some uh, stairs, concrete stairs. Although, do I want to have the stairs smack against the thing? Uh, it's actually it's a it's a nice planet here because we don't need to worry too much about you know atmosphere. So let's make a, a nice looking entrance. I kind of wish we could control a bit the um, uh, the grass here because I mean I, I kind of uh, I don't like having the grass like right in my, in my entrance, but I don't want to like start messing with the ground and like you know like shoveling stuff around. So I guess that's gonna have to do. So then we need to put the door and we need to make a glass door so we don't have like an interior that is isolated from the outside in terms of uh, atmosphere. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the blocks on the outside. I'm going to do this. Oh, this. So that we can have, you know, like the windows and such. Uh, on the on the outer block here, and then we we can have like some like we can place I don't know like a fridge or whatever like something like right up against the wall or the window and like have everything flush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it like quickly. There's no time. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having fun here. Uh, and the, the drone, by the way, I don't know. The drone seems to be spawning in a weird place. I've managed to get, like get it to spawn, but then it disappeared right away because I was too far and I could get a glimpse of where it was spawning, but I couldn't figure out where it was spawning. So I don't know. I still don't have a clue why it's not working with me, and uh, I haven't like really dug too deep into if it's like a general issue or just a me issue. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay out some of the windows. I I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have enough, but. When I started making the stuff, I didn't have a lot of silicon, and I kind of didn't want to risk lose. Like, what is that? No way! It's a square to round thing. Oh, <gasps> awesome! Well, anyways, I'll I'll just build my stuff and um, you know, get get a bit of a, like a base going on, and then I will be back. So I've also made the um, multi tool. And I want to change that because I want to be able to see from inside. Here we go. This thing is working. All right. So, are we... Yeah, we're not getting a lot of uh, power storage here because, I mean, four uh, ca capacitors or where, what, what are they called? Batteries? Capacitors? Capacitors. Capacitors. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, one capacitor is already like a lot of energy, but I want to rely as much as possible on solar power. And we're limited to 15 uh, uh, solar panels, so maybe I'll like check a few more uh, here and there, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> Just to like reach the limit, because they don't cost too much, so that's, uh, that's a pretty good thing. But I would like to rely as little as possible on Promethium, because while I did get a pretty good amount of it, uh, I would like to be able to keep some, and ev um, eventually we're going to build a hover vehicle. Oh, well, anyways, yeah, we're going to be to build a hover. Oh, that's a problem that we don't have the drone, because how am I going to build, like, the roof and all? It's going to be a pain, like, like back in the olden days, we didn't have drones, <laughs> and we did very well without them. Oh, my God. But yeah, not that I, not that I got finally used to the drone, like, after, like, I don't know, maybe like a year. And I don't have it anymore, I'm, I'm like, unable to do anything. Well, anyways. So yeah, essentially, this base is gonna have everything we need to, like... Not necessarily, like, a, like a military base, but, like, it's gonna be, like, a... a like a bitch house, yeah, de definitely a bitch house. Because I love me some bitching. So I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do the uh, the roof. I think I might use the thin the the thin blocks and and not have anything on the roof or maybe like some decorative stuff. But I'm not gonna have like turrets and such because I would like this one to not look military at all. 
So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works out. Alright, and now we have our little, uh, walkway to the beach from our house. How about that? And, oh, maybe we'll have a solarium? Is that what you call it? A solarium? Like the place where you go to have the sun get inside your house? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Alright, so we'll flip all the windows. Okay, so we're gonna be short on concrete stuff. Thing is, I believe we should have a little more in reserve here. Uh, okay, not that much. Uh, well, I might go around and break some more rocks and such, but yeah, I'm not too, uh, I'm not in too much of a hurry here, so we might just use yeah, let's have... Yeah, one more... Yeah, it's, it's not going to save us many uh, building blocks, but... I want to have one more window, and most of my stuff is here. So, wait, let me start a window... Not the armored one, that one. All right, a windowed block. And I'm turning this off every time because it, it consumes 40 kilowatts just to be on and do nothing. So, yeah... Uh, solar power is a little overwhelmed by that. Okay. So we have two beautiful windows here. So we're going to have like, um, I don't know, maybe, uh, we'll, we'll see, but some decorative blocks here, like with a, like a couch or something. Because I want to I wanna have those decorative blocks. And then we're going to have a little uh, farm place built exclusively out of wood because yeah we're out of uh expensive stuff so we're uh <laughs> not gonna bother going for rocks uh, oh okay that is uh, gonna be a problem well uh, let's not have anything here and yeah that's a little um oversight on my part because we can't, I mean, we can't have a block here, a uh, railing here, because of the, the windows, because they're already outside, so, yeah. Slight oversight on my part. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 I want the, the, the one with the window stuff. Okay, so, I kind of like the looks of it. And I really, uh, why? Is it making the sound from outside? Is it because I'm too far? From yeah, it feels like if you're too far from a wall, you get the sound from outside. So if I'm in the center here, oh, that's because I'm aligned with that thing, I guess. Wait, let me get let me get a door, and uh, I'll, I'll see if that still makes the the sound. Oh, I think maybe the sound is busted here. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. And that's the same, by the way, here. Um, we can't have that thing powered if we're not using it because there's like a, a serious power leakage. Uh, I might actually have the... Yeah, I might have the fuel... Yeah, the fuel tanks and the power... I don't want to... I don't really want to have... I don't want to use them, but I want to have them ready for when I might want to. Here we go, and then flip it. All right, so we do have power. Why are you? There's no fuel. Why are you spinning and making sounds? Now oh, where? So I'll pick that up, and we're gonna build our grow. Uh, uh, wait, what? What do you call it? Uh, farm. Um, where do I want to build it? I want to build it a bit out of the way so it's not like, you know, a pain in the neck to navigate. What is that? Wait, didn't I see something? Eh, maybe I didn't. Anyways. Well, I don't know why I keep... Actually... No, what we are missing is grain. Or something. I can't, I can't remember. But we've got... I've, I've made like a... a 
a bit of everything, so yeah, it shouldn't be a uh, we shouldn't have anything missing. All right, more stuff for concrete. And also because that's actually where I want it to be. All right, so one, two, three. Okay, so we are fully enclosed. Uh, we're gonna need to use Oh, we need a third door. Okay, so another... Oh, wait! Oh, yeah, we have oxygen, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Damn, I was starting to, like, go crazy because last time I, uh... <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but last time I planted stuff, didn't go my way because everything died because of the lack of oxygen, so... Yeah. Now I'm a lot more careful. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna close it because I don't care if, like, I mean... Yeah, no, I, I want to have a door. If nothing else, just for to have the um, the quietness from you know from the door. Um, I want to check the I want to check the power just a sec here. Uh, yeah, consumption <laughs> twenty five kilowatt. Wait, what? Oh, because it's counting the. Um, yeah, it's counting the, the power generator, which has no fuel. Well, anyways. So, current output from the solar power is 21 kilowatts, and we're consuming 25. And we're going to add more devices, so that's not going to help. So, we need two doors, if I'm not mistaken. And turn that back off. Okay. So we're gonna have to be very conservative with our power because solar takes a lot of time. So even when we have like the full, like the full base ready, we're still gonna have to worry about you know turning stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry, turning stuff off and such. All right, so we have four of that. I will. Oh, actually, what's the temperature here? Oh, it's a little cold. Uh, let's see if that helps. Uh, let's put one like that. It is fancy. Oh, what's that? A water generator. Okay, I thought it was a temperature warning because it was like something going on. Never mind. Anyways, so temperature here is still six degrees. Although we do have gro oh, I only made three. Well, I'm only gonna start two for now. Is that... Ah, shit! I made it too high! Oh, well, that's fine. Ha! Alright! Uh, tomato, pump... Hmm. Do we need to eat anything? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, where'd it go? Ah, shit! I didn't want to do that because I made a new batch of new ones and, uh... Anyhow, let's plant... Okay, pumpkin, durian, aloe vera, I don't know... What it'll do, but where? Uh, durian. Durian? Pumpkin? Pumpkin? Tomato? Tomato. Alright, what else do we have? Aloe vera, Ahax, textured plant proteins. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I mean, it looks like I'm, you know, planting stuff in a, in a specific order, but not exactly. And the Ahax stuff. I don't, I'm not even sure what the Ahax fruits do. Like, what they give you. Holy crap. I actually... I actually know what I'm doing. And when I'm saying that, I don't mean that I actually know what I'm doing. But more like, yeah. Uh, more here. Okay, so... Let's actually hurry up. So that the plants down here don't die. Okay, here we go. Because, let's see the temperature here. Yeah, okay, so it's fine here. Yeah, it's a little cold here. I don't know if it's gonna die or not. Spice sprouts. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the spice sprouts because... Yeah, we should have... um. Yeah, I don't know if I didn't make a mistake here. I should have only planted one seed of each. Kind of like seven days to die starvation. Uh-oh. No, what is... Oh, that's a... Uh... 
a level of detail transition that's uh yeah hopefully that's a, just a level of detail transition so we got our stuff all done here oh you know what i gotta make them all but i'm gonna turn it off uh turn off and this one well i'll have a light for here but at least i can make the support for it and then what i wanted to do was lay down um a light here to provide some actually just above us here uh we can't Oh, here we go. I was going to say, yeah, we can't uh, configure them anymore. And then we have a, we're have we going to have a switch to control all of the, the lighting here so that they, it turns off the... When we come in, it turns up Motion sensor. I never remember. Motion sensor. All right, let's turn... Uh, interactive setup. I never remember, but whatever. We'll figure it out soon. Control, uh, left control and number pad increases and left alt retracts. Okay, so that's the right one. Uh, number two is gonna be this side, I guess. All right. And what I want to, to do with that, um, signal logic. Uh, Garden, I guess. Oh, that's pretty cool when it uh, stops making some crazy noises. So, okay, yeah, I made a bit, bit of a mistake. So it turn, it's gonna turn on and off. Okay, so turn on based on that, and the plant grow lights will turn off based on that. All right, so now let's get out and see if it works. So we have the plant grow lights on, and why are you not triggered? Oh, because we're probably... No, wait. What? Motion sensor. Hello? We are inside here, right? What is... A front? Side? Oh, front is the depth, so yeah, okay, that. Active? Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's working now. Okay, so. Boop! Okay, finally, so. We have the light turn on. Okay, so let, now let's just try to exclude this one from the loop so it doesn't turn off, uh, don't turn on when we. Okay, so this one. just exclude that and now okay it remains off all right so where we have our base set up we have our garden set up I'm, I'm just gonna want uh just want to check I mean I wish we had some plastics so we can make um, the you know the beds and such like stuff like that uh, let's see our oh, crap. Let's see our solar ar array, how it works. Oh, shit. Okay, 600 kilowatts right now. So we're probably going to make some crazy, like, charge. Although the, the yeah, the, the batteries are pretty, like, high capacity. So even if you're making, like, insane amounts of power, you're still charging very slowly. Oh, yeah. <gasps> and keeps climbing. Yeah, because... The days I've spent grinding, well, actually two days, it was super cloudy and always raining. And I, I think I've got the stuff in reverse. Oh, no, it's not in reverse. Okay. Well, anyways. So we got the the water. Uh, we, we might want to start making... Okay, let's see what we can buy now. Uh, O2 station, not really worried about that right now. Elevators, not very useful. The fridges, yes. Because we're going to need to start worrying about food. Hangar doors, not really. Ventilator, not interested. 
And now we're gonna be able to start making some hover vessel stuff, hovercraft. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use this because <laughs> uh, you see, like, there's tons of those like resource rocks around, and uh, whenever I go anywhere with the bike, I need to stop. Like, it takes me an hour to do like a click. And so I need to stop every time I see a rock. I need to stop and like mine the hell out of it So when I have a hover vessel with the like the the mower stuff on the front I'm gonna mow down all the rocks and not have to get out. So that's gonna be cool um, What else do we need? Oh wrong thing Hover so thrusters not really Worrisome right now because I mean we don't I don't think we're gonna need like a big one ah, Although well, let's see 25 kilowatts 90 kilonewtons Yeah, so I mean it's a it's a serious like it's a 25% increase in power <sighs> for a 12% increase in uh, yeah forget it I'll use like two thrusters like that before I use one of those or even like four of that before I use two of those or whatever actually no it's uh, significantly less than that but yeah I use more ugly thrusters before I use the pretty ones because right now I am. Wait, what's the difference between the- Oh, the drill drills in the ground and the harvest in the- Okay, it's the rocks and the uh, trees and shit. Oh, we can mow down a freaking forest with that and, like, make a whole- Oh, shit, we can make more than one with that! Wait, can we make more than one? Uh, there's no limit with that one yet, right? Range, mass... So we could have- In theory, we, we could have, like... I mean, we got 20 in the front of one of those, but we could have like two, three of those in the front and make a road across a forest. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so, well, vent later, we might make one of those. And let's see what we can get, like the oxygen stuff. I didn't see it any anywhere. We can't make that? Because I've made, oh, did I make it? Oh yeah, I made it. Oh, and there's that. I, for, I must forget about those. So we got the emergency uh, thingamater. thingamater. Let's put that on our um, in our base. And oh, we can't put that on base. All right. So much for that. Well, we'll put it on the on the on the other side here. Oh, we can have like the door now. Uh, door and a glass door. You know what? Let's put it on the outside too. Here we go. Boop. And have that here. All right. Oh, is that gonna make a noise? Oh, yeah. We need some power. Are you gonna make some noise, or are you like already working here? That's working. Okay. Okay. So we can have this here. But this is weird. I don't. I don't see. Like, I didn't see anywhere a place where it talks about the oxygen generator. Am I missing it? I mean, I don't think it's gonna be in the weapon stuff, but... Okay, this is weird. I don't have a clue where I can find the oxygen generator. It doesn't seem to be... Wait, that's, that's weird, right? That is weird. Do you make it from water? Oh, wait, hi wait, hydrogen bottle is made from water, so maybe the oxygen too? Let me, let me uh, go grab some, uh, ox some oxygen here. Some water, sorry. I'll grab some water and maybe we'll see something unlock and uh, it'll all come clear. So we get some water, we get some hydrogen, but we don't get oxygen. Oh, here! Oh, how about that? Steel plate? Oh my god, we're gonna consume steel. Oh, and only making two per jug. Wow, we make one ox bottle per jug? Oh. You know what? Let's, uh, let, let's not worry about that just yet. Let's see how our power generator is working. Um, 1.2 megawatt? I might have overdone it with the solar power then. Uh, although, I mean, it's gonna refill our um, our batteries here. And uh, I mean, we do have to go through rainy days, <laughs> literally. And um, 
you know, the less than pretty knights. So we should be fine. There are some raptors I've seen around. And I wish we could also use like, yeah, you know, like the, 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 um, the zone setup we use for the, um, the um, motion sensors. I wish we could use the same kind of stuff with the turrets so that I could define a zone that the co turret covers instead of like covering like a, a radius around the base. But, all right, let's, you know what? I think we're gonna call it quits here because I mean we it's it's a pretty long episode for me. I mean uh it's been like forty-eight minutes now. Ha ah, jeez, that oxygen stuff. Oh we're gonna need a lot more water than I was expecting to need. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move this inside the house by the base. Uh that's less than optimal here. Uh, the cloning chamber, don't really need to worry about it. The storage here and stuff, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna keep it here. This I'll move off camera. And we're gonna put some storage inside. Alright, so let's bring this up here, actually. Uh, disassemble. Alright. And we're gonna have our kitchen. Um, kitchen's gonna be here. I don't remember. I never remember which side is the front, which side is the back. Kitchen here. We're gonna have. Oh, that's not exactly where I wanted it. That's fine. Then we're gonna dump all this stuff out of the way here because I like not having the you know the practical stuff being all crowded up. Uh, that goes up here. Um. Oh yeah, we can make milk and cheese now and fried stuff. I don't know what we're gonna do with cheese though. One milk, and while milk is made with... Oh, so we can make three milk, so three cheese? Oh my god, someone's gonna have like... We're gonna need a toilet after that, but yeah, whatever. We're gonna have some light around here. Yay, you know what? Let's call it quits here because I need to move the fabricator to inside the house. I'm gonna add a switch somewhere. Oh, that's dumb to have made like old glass walls because now how, where am I gonna put the switches? Well, I guess on the on the glass walls. I mean, it's not too big a deal, right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is the switch. Oh, yeah, we can't have it outside. Shit. Can we have it here, like semi buried in a thing? Nah, it's not accessible. Okay. Um, oh, that's not very smart. All right, well, we'll have both the twitch switches here. And one of them is going to turn off the fabricator, the food stuff, so we can save on the, like, solar power. And the other one's going to turn off the whole... the whole, Everything non-essential, so not the farm here, because it has to be, like, it's like an away switch. Like, when we move away, switch goes off, so we save on power. And this is for where we're inside the base, but we don't need to use the fabricator and, uh, and such, so yeah. Let's see our... Oh, actually, we don't need to go there. And let's see... 8%. And, okay, we're, we're full on, under a, a megawatt here. And consumption, 62 kilowatts. What's, uh... Oh, the food thingy. Oh, hey. Trying to suck my power here? Son of a gun. No, we actually, we need to make the cheese now. Okay, so I really like that we can have cheese without having to hunt the freaking deer mule or mule deer. No, it's actually not mule deer. Well, I don't know what the hell what the animal was, but I, I didn't like having to hunt those because you, you'd never have enough milk to take advantage of all the recipes that used milk. Oh, I love cheese, but I can't eat it. <laughs> oh my god, I want to have some, like, a good hunk of Parmesan. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to move all the, like, the fabricator. I'm going to have some storage added. And then we're, uh, we're going to be back. So yeah, th thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. Until then, you take care.